In this video, I am going to show you how to create a tree map chart in Google Sheets. A tree map chart is a useful kind of chart that provides a hierarchical view of data that allows you to easily identify patterns. This is an example of a tree map chart. In this chart, we have the structure of an organization and the tree map chart is showing you the staff size of each department. And this is the chart that I will be creating in this video. So here is my data that I'm going to use to create the chart. I have the different departments of a company and I have the department category and then I have the staff size of each department. So production and shipping are in the warehouse parent category. Uh, customer service and marketing I have nested under marketing and sales and then accounting will be under the finance category and then HR and administration I just have under administrative and so what I'm going to do is create a chart with this data however what I can't do is just create a chart on this we have to format our data and get it in the proper format otherwise we won't be able to create a chart so the hardest part about creating a tree map chart is this step, is formatting your data, but it's not very hard. So what I need to do is first, I'm going to have to delete this. I can't have a header in this column B. And then next, for each department category or uh, parent category, I need to have a subheader that has the total staff um, of that category. So what I'm going to do is above each of these, I'm just going to insert another row. So these are my department categories or parent categories that these departments are nested under. And so each of them has another row above them. And just to make it more clear, I am just going to change them a color because I like formatting in my tables. So then what we're going to do is I'm going to put the department category here in column A for each of these subheaders. So I'm just putting the appropriate category name or department label in each subheader. So this is the warehouse department, this is the marketing sales department, this is the finance department, and this is the administrative department. And then what we need to do is we need to put um, department in column B in each of these headers. And so now we're close to being done. But what I also need to do now is I need to put the sums of each department category in the subheader spots and I need to put the total um, number of staff in this column C here. So what I'm going to do is this is this plus this. This is just this. This is this plus this. This is this plus this. And then I will have my total staff here at the top. So I'll just do summing up these sub subheader ones. So let me just make sure that that's right. So 34 and 34. So everything is included. So in order to make a tree map chart you need to have your data in this format so I have my um, I have my departments in the department category each one has um, a subheader here and then I have the total staff that makes up the entire department category uh, summed up in these subheaders with the total at the very top in the top header so this is the format you need. Once you've created this, creating the actual chart is easy from this point. So what you wanna do 
is select all of your data and you can either come over to this button insert chart or come up into the top menu insert and then chart and so after you have selected that sometimes Google Sheets will automatically select the correct chart type based on your data other times what you will have to do is um, under this chart type section you'll have to click on this drop down and navigate down to tree map chart which right now is under the other section so you would select this and your tree map chart is created and so once your tree map chart is created what you can do is hover over rectangles and it will show you um, the total number that makes up that rectangle and then you can also click on it and it will zoom in so this is now zooming in on the warehouse department I can see it's made up of production and shipping and then click this arrow and it will zoom back out so you can zoom in on different categories um, if you want to change any of the formatting or colors that will just be in this customized tab so you can change fonts colors and some other things in here but that is how to create a tree map chart in Google Sheets. Um, so it's all about formatting the data properly so that the tree map chart can read it. And so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.